I think the CEO brand must be aligned with the company brand, but the CEO brand must be able to stand apart um, because you may not always be associated with your company. And especially since I work with so many um, Silicon Valley entrepreneurs, that happens a lot. They bring in a professional manager or CEO after a certain number of years, and the, the, the founding CEO may be you know, off on the street now. So if, you're, if you've invested all of your personal brand just around the company and you're only known as the founder or CEO of that company, uh, it won't serve you personally well. And from the standpoint of the organization, it, it, you have to be out there. Uh, if you can't do it for yourself, you have to do it for your organization because people will not be able to um, you know, relate as well to your organization without understanding and trusting the leader of that organization. I'm working with a CEO right now in San Francisco, and she's a fantastic CEO, does wonderful things. But the board has actually asked her to get out there and to have a greater presence externally because they know that it's going to help the company. It's going to put, one, a human face on the company. And she has wonderful core values. And her core values and her personality and the way that she interacts with people is so positive that they need to put her out there as representative of that company brand. And two, it's going to help them to uh, attract new partners. And they're moving into um, more of the consumer market. And it's really important to be able to to reach out to consumers and have them say, oh, I really like that CEO or I really like that company, and that CEO being part, a, v a very important part of the brand. So yes, the CEO brand must be aligned with the company brand, but it needs to also stand apart. And what I tell people is to do a shift in their mindset from me to we. And so it's not just about you or not just about you becoming famous. That is not the motivation or should not be the motivation or goal. The goal should really be what is that we and how can I help to add value to the we or to the world. And when you think of it in that way, then you know that it's important for you to have a brand that resonates, that is recognized, that is trusted, that has influence, because if you're going to be able to reach your goals, you have to have a brand that has those qualities. So it's, you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the greater good. And uh, when you also think about doing education and engagement as opposed to just promotion, then it's a lot easier. Because quite frankly, education and engagement is what makes a brand. It's not just promoting, it's not just a one-way, you know, a megaphone that you're shouting messages out. It's only when people hear and respond and interact with you that, uh, that your brand really takes root.